Hello, today we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna take an ordinary chicken and put it to Korean hell. It's called puldak, basically means fire chicken. When we pull it back out, it's gonna be nice and angry like a Korean ajashi. Then we're gonna get a handful of mozzarella cheese, spread it over the top, that way you get some form of relief. And uh, if you like spicy, you're gonna love this. Alright, at the market, I want you to pick out the most sinful looking chicken breast or you can go for the naughty chicken thigh. Or you can just mix like me. In total, we need 600 grams. We can just cut these into bite-sized pieces. Try to get them equal size so they cook evenly. Alright. And now we're going to create Daniel's Inferno. Two tablespoons of gochujang, three tablespoons of gochukaru, and then, so it's not bland, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Now we got to balance out that one-two punch with a little bit of sugar. One tablespoon in, one tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of mirin, three or four cloves of garlic, about one tablespoon's worth, one tablespoon of sesame oil, then one tablespoon of oyster sauce. It's gonna provide a base of umami flavor. A few cracks of black pepper, say five or six turns. And then the final layer of Daniel's Inferno, we're gonna add in some Cheongyang gochu. These little bad boys are hot. Uh, as a replacement, you can use jalapeno. We'll dice them up. That's one tablespoon and our second tablespoon. Very nice. By the way, if you want to get it even more spicy, just add a little bit more of these Cheongyang chili peppers. It really takes it up another notch. Mix it in, mix everything together. Wow, that is a lot of flavors coming together. Let's leave it aside to marinate. 30 minutes, a minimum. If you got time, one hour, very good. And there's nothing more you need to add, but for me, I like to add onions. Why? Because I like onions. I just diced up about half an onion as the onions cook, they do add a little bit of sweetness, which is nice. I'm going to get the onions mixed in as well. Flame on, and let's go medium-high heat. Get a little bit of oil in, and we'll put in all of the chicken. Alright guys, then, best way, just put a lid on it, and we'll let it cook around for around two minutes. Alright. Woo! After two or three minutes, just give this a mix around. Let's reduce this to a medium low heat now, and then let's cook it without the lid for about two more minutes. And you can just finish here, really. Just grab a bowl of rice and you're done. But we're doing buldak, a microwave friendly bowl or oven friendly bowl. We're gonna layer the bottom with some mozzarella cheese. Just put one layer down, throw on one layer of cheese. It's kind of like a lasagna. One final layer of chicken. Finish it off with some more cheese. Be extra generous here. That looks plenty generous. Finish this off in the oven. Uh, you can also finish this off in the microwave, but of course, the oven gets a little bit better results. Let's put our baby in. Here comes our fiery, spicy chicken. Looks like a black diamond ski slope. Woo! For added effect, I'm gonna torch this. Hit it with our green onions over on top. And that, my friends, is puldak chicken. Guys, with the meal like this, perfect time. For some beer, amazing pour. Seems like I got all foam. Dig in. <sighs> Guys, the key thing is to get some of this cheese right here. All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Guys, I've had my fair share of puldak in Korea. I think the last time I went, um, I had friends visiting and, and they just want to try how spicy spice gets in Korea. And after two bites, <laughs> just, we were sweating so much that uh, we started getting a headache afterwards. And at which point I realized, uh, why are we paying money to do this? To get a headache. The version we're making now, the spice level is pretty average. You see, I'm not sweating at all. But if you've been making the same chicken recipe month over month, come try. Come to hell with me and make some bulldog.